is it possible to build a carbon fiber guitar that can change people's minds about carbon fiber guitars? The answer is yes. And I know who can do it. And I'm not telling you. Guitar Stuff with John! Welcome to another new and exciting Guitar Stuff with John. Okay, so how to start this video? Well, let me start by saying how thankful I am to YouTube and all of you for putting me in this very unique position I've been in over the last four years to have experienced firsthand uh, some of the greatest guitars that have ever been made. Uh, they've been here. They've been in my hands some of them are in my collection. They, they've they come from all over the world. They've come from huge company builders. Yeri, Yamaha. They've Gibson, Epiphone. They've come from, you know, Boucher. They've come from Gallagher. They've, they've come from single bench guys. George Crackett. Uh, David Flamang. Uh, th the list is endless. And because of that... I am not easily shocked anymore. I'm just not. When I receive a guitar from a builder or a company, I have a certain expectation because I'm no dummy. I've gone before the guitar even gets here and I've looked up everything I can find about the company. I've, I've listened to, you know, audio samples, video reviews, uh other artists who use the guitars i've done my research and i i seldom ever well i never get a guitar in except for boucher's even boucher i know how good they are so i'm not going to be overly shocked when i pull out a brand new boucher and it tears my face off that's what i'm expecting so this company reached out to me and i and i knew their reputation and I thought, okay, I'm going to get this guitar, and it's going to be really good. And I I got the guitar, and I was blown away, blown away. I That's not even an accurate portrayal of, of what happened when I opened the case, saw the guitar in person, pulled it out, started to play it, right? It just blew me away. Now, I'm a lover of carbon fiber instruments. I always have been. And the reason is, see, as I always try to tell you all, every time on this program, I love the guitars that I love because it of me. I have a very specific list of needs and desires for instruments that I'm going to take out on the road. Now, that may be completely different than your list, and that's great because Every, everybody has a different list, a different set of requirements, a different uh, setup, a different action, a different string. a different. Every guitar player is different, and every guitar player is unique in what they need to either play happily at home as a hobby or a lover of guitar or to go out on stage in front of thousands of people and present bear their souls and their hearts to an audience, right? Well, I have a very specific set of parameters that have to be met before I can look at a guitar and go, that's coming on stage with me. So over the years, carbon fiber instruments, right, have presented uh, a very interesting quandary. They're indestructible. They're 1,000% dependable, 
because they're not affected by temperature, humidity, any of those things. But they don't look like much, really, most of the time. And they don't sound very good, right? Now, close has been my favorite one and because and still in my top three because it's the working man's carbon fiber guitar. It is. It's just it it's plain looking. It comes apart really easy. When you put the thing together, it sounds fantastic and it sounds good plugged in and it's indestructible. What else can you want, right? So that's where I was at on this timeline of, of carbon guitars and knowing all the other companies that do carbon fiber instruments like Composite Acoustic and Louisiana and Rain Song and Adamas, all these guitars I've owned in my lifetime, they never stay with me because they there's something missing. The close has been with me longer than any carbon fiber instrument ever I've ever had. Well, this one here <laughs> has taken things to another level. This is the Emerald X20. Carbon fiber. Beautiful emblem they use, inlaid in silver. It has a Pacific walnut veneer on the top, which has nothing to do with the sound. It's purely aesthetic, but you can't see how it's fastened. It's unbelievable. It's like it's molded right into the carbon fiber. And then, of course, on the back of this guitar is the is an amber weave. And this instrument, when you look at it, appears to be completely molded out of a single piece of CF. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. But the thing that blew me away was when... I picked it up and heard what it sounded like. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <clears throat> the tone of this instrument is not wood. Of course it isn't wood. It's, but it doesn't sound like any other instrument that you're ever going to put your hands on. Alistair Hay, who started Emerald Guitars, used to design F1 racers, right? Out of carbon fiber. So somewhere along the way, this man figured out all the math and all the physics of how to design a guitar. And <laughs> it's just unbelievable. It's, uh, it's just unbelievable. It's, it's, in, it's addictive to play this thing. <laughs> Just huge. And 
obviously it has a very odd offset sound hole which projects the sound directly into your face and in the front it seems to have incredible projection again I'm not sure how that's possible but it's doing it Sustain is absolutely out of control. So <clears throat> I was sitting in my living room playing this and thinking, what the hell is going on? I've never heard any composite instrument sound like this. And it started to make sense to me how popular these guitars are with the people who own them. Because I know that when people buy these, they end up buying four or five of them. They're like, they're addictive. Once you have one, you find yourself wanting another, and another, and another. They make all different body sizes. They make harp guitars. They make 12 strings. They make basses, ukuleles. They have an on-site uh, thing that's, I love this. It's, it's a custom guitar building tool kit. You just go in. It's all live in real time. We're actually going to do it because I want to show you how cool it is. And you can design any kind of guitar you want, and it happens real time, and you can see it. As you're, do as you're building it, you see it appearing, and you can turn it and flip it and look at it. It's unbelievable technology. And I'm sure, I mean, it's been used for years, but the way that they utilize it is so cool. And so I'm sitting there in my living room playing this thing, going, what the hell? And then I looked around at the end, and I got a little bit of a surprise. There's a battery drawer, and the end pin is over here. The, the jack, rather. The jack's here, end pin's here. But there's a battery drawer in it, and I asked them for a K, &K pickup. Well, uh, I know that K and Ks don't require batteries, so I, I got real nervous. I thought, okay, great. It's the most incredible sounding carbon fiber instrument I've ever heard. But if you can't translate it through an amplifier or a PA, it's going to sound like a piece of plastic. Because that's what bad pickups do to even the best guitars. So then I started looking around at the guitar and I noticed something that took me by surprise. The bridge. Here's the bridge. There it is. Look at that. That, my friends, belongs on a Telecaster, not an acoustic. It's six individual Telecaster style individual saddles with intonation screws and, and height adjustment screws. <sighs> That in itself is awesome. You can do anything you want to to the, the action of this guitar. But then I, then I went, whoa, wait a minute now. I recognize this from my Cody Electric. Cody uses Graftech Ghost Piezo tailpieces. Listen to this thing, it won't shut up. So that's what this is. It's a Graftech Ghost Piezo system. Each one of these strings has its own piezo crystal, and it's powered, 9-volt battery, right? I thought, okay, maybe I can get away with this. Then I came up here to the studio, 
plugged it in, and dumbass me, he found something else. Inside, I found two wheels. I figured one was volume, one was tone. Wrong. One is volume, the other is a blender between this and a K and K pickup system. That tore my head off. First of all, I had no idea that you could combine a K and K system with a competitor's product. Most systems won't let you do it. I also didn't know that you could combine a K and K with a powered an active system because K and K is passive. I mean, I might sound dumb, but I don't keep track of those things. I don't use that kind of technology. Often wish it existed, but most guitars uh, have a battery bag inside that's a pain in the ass. I don't want any of this stuff in my guitars. I can't get at it when I'm on stage and before the show, blah, blah, blah. This thing has my favorite pickup of all time, the K and K combined with this Graftech Ghost Piezo. And when I plugged it in, it's the best sounding plugged in guitar I've ever heard. And I'm gonna show it to you now. You will not believe what this thing sounds like plugged in. It's unbelievable. Here it is. So here we go. We've got the X20 plugged into my Fishman uh, Artist Loud Box. This is what I've been using on stage for 20 years. The amp is completely flat. I'm going to leave the mic right here. I'm going to turn on the room mics as well. Here we go. Volume. say like the amps flat the guitar is blended down the middle between the two systems <clears throat> best sounding thing I've ever heard plugged in what are you gonna do so there it is that's enough to blow anybody's mind really I, <laughs> I'm telling you if you as we all of us me a little less than others I think but Many guitar players are set against carbon fiber instruments, and that's fine. There's good reason for it. But when you start to get into 
this level of craftsmanship and understanding of what a guitar is supposed to sound like, uh, it takes it takes things to another another plateau where you start to have to reconsider because once you <laughs> combine what this thing sounds like, plays like, looks like with all the incredible benefits of a carbon fiber instrument when it comes to surviving any environment without a scratch of any kind, it gets rather compelling. So let's take a look now at this guitar uh, close up because you need to see it close up to to really take it all in as to what's going on with this thing. So here is the Emerald X20 close up. Check this out. So here we are guys at the headstock of the Emerald X20. More of that uh, Pacific Walnut veneer. Beautifully done. There's your truss entrance right there. It has a working two-way truss, carbon graphite um, nut and saddle, of course. And they use uh, Goto 510s, I believe it is. There we go. Goto 510s right there. Look at that neck. Oh, it just, I love the color of this thing and the way it all looks. Anyhow, we don't want to miss the front. We have this uh, carbon fiber fingerboard and look at these inlays. Look at that. Unbelievable. They're silver and gold. Not sure what they're made out of, but they're very subtle and they pick up the light just right. Very nice. Then we come down to the body, and of course, here's some more of this beautiful Pacific walnut. Paldeo, they call it, I think. This is a real piece of wood. A very thin veneer, but it's inlaid right into the carbon fiber top, and God knows how they've done that. You definitely can't see where it's happened or how they did it. It's quite amazing. And here is the culprit, for part of the culprit, for that incredible sound. You see that this saddle is carbon fiber as well, and it, it, it's, it goes right through the, the top of the guitar in one piece, apparently. And there's the Graftech Ghost Piezo system. And then we look at the back and we see more of the fiber weave. God knows that's beautiful. And our very unique sound hole here with the control wheels. And there's the our sticker, which might be harder to see on this guitar. There we go, look at that. Oh, there it is, the X20. And we have beveling on the back, armrest bevel there, and at the end, we have our battery drawer, quarter inch out, strap button, strap button just there, and there you go. There is an absolute masterpiece of carbon fiber technology a single piece. It looks like a single piece. I. It's hard to believe, but it, it must be. I don't know. I might find out that it's not. I, it doesn't really matter to me. It, it matters what this thing plays and sounds like, and it's flawless. One of the things about this guitar that really blows me away is the neck. How comfortable the neck is. It's super spacious. One and three quarter inch nut. It's almost so easy to play you get a little bit lazy on it and I mi I've, I've been missing things on this because it's so easy to get your hands on this neck that you tend to spend too much energy so you have, you have to kind of back off because it's, it's so easy to play that you just 
throw your fingers on there and they go where they should. Nice little bevel there too in the cutaway. There you go, boys. The Emerald X20. What a tremendous piece of guitar hardware. Unbelievable. If you're looking for a carbon fiber instrument that's of heirloom quality, this is it. I've never seen anything like this in all my years of playing. Thanks, Emerald. So there you go, guys. There's the Emerald X20 uh, Amber Carbon Weave with the Pacific Walnut Paldeo, I think they call it. Uh, all the Celtic knot inlay. Uh, dual system Graftech Ghost with K and uh, K. &K. Uh, Jesus. <coughs> I'm not even sure, you know. There's, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a lot of content out of this guitar because I want to show certain things about it over time that you'll you're gonna find amazing. Um, there's a lot to be said for obviously for traditional guitars. I have forty of them, and there's certain things that nothing else will do but a, but a wooden guitar. You know what I mean? But when you're talking about a tool of the trade that's going to go on stage with you every night and be flawless and sound as good as this thing does, it makes the choice kind of, you know, there isn't a choice. So, it's, it's I don't know exactly what else to say. I, I'm a little bit at a loss for words when it comes to this instrument and what Emerald does and how they're doing it, because a lot of it, to me, is still a mystery, and that's fine. As as time goes on, I'm going to learn more about it, obviously. But their building technique and their understanding of <clears throat> the sonics of an acoustic guitar are are just mind-blowing. They, they know exactly what a guitar is supposed to sound like, and they've engineered it right into every one of these instruments. So I want to thank everybody at Emerald for giving me the opportunity to showcase this guitar. And you're going to be hearing more from me and them as time goes on because this is going to end up being in my regular rotation on the road. And it's such a head turner, especially the sound of it, but also the looks of it. It is such a head turner that I know I'm going to end up, you know, talking to a lot of people about this guitar. So don't forget to go to their website because their website is the coolest thing ever. It's just emeraldguitars.com. And it's amazing. You can go on there and literally build your own guitar virtually and see it right in front of you. Click order and boom. And these guitars for the amount of technology that's in them, they are not super expensive. You can get one of these for about three grand, all the way up to the seven, eight thousand dollar range, because there's a ton of work in these. These aren't just cookie cutter things. They are they are custom built. You can custom build them. They'll make you anything you want. And there's a ton of work in it. And it's it's so so well done that you know, you, it's, you have no problem with a price tag and something you, you can see clearly has the work in it, right? So, there's my take. Uh, as I said, I'm a little... Uh, a little flabbergasted.
It's in there somewhere. I had the idea in my brain, but it just wouldn't come out. <clears throat> I think I've been stunned. <laughs> We'll see you next time on Guitar Stuff with John. Special thanks to Emerald. There you go, boys. Check them out. You will not be disappointed. And you'll definitely not dis be disappointed if you buy one. I can tell you that right now. That should be their motto. Emerald Guitars. See you next time.